Well, the Vector DA test um, has been a, another wonderful advance for me personally as a rheumatoid arthritis patient. I've done a lot of lab tests over my uh, time as a rheumatology patient, and the Vector TA is, is different in that it's totally focused at rheumatoid arthritis. And I know that's not true of the other more traditional lab tests. And while I don't think it's an either or situation, I think Vector DA just gives another really valuable input in addition to my other tests. So I love combining the two of them. It's just a way to keep really close tabs on your disease activity with respect to rheumatoid arthritis. What I really like about the Vector DA test is how simple it is to um, set up before you have your physicians visit. You simply go to the laboratory where you normally probably go. You have a simple blood test, maybe a week or two before your physicians visit. And then by the time you get to your doctors for, for your actual normal visit, uh, you have the results, he or she have the results and can share that with you. And it gives you a new framework to discuss your disease and disease activity um, with your doctor. In my particular case, uh, I was weaning off of several medications and I think that's why my physician uh, suggested the Vector DA. Uh, for me, it was really useful because I was actually giving up certain medications or cutting the dosage quite dramatically. Uh, in half in some instances, uh, and so things are really changing around. I always think of my situation as a house of cards, and if I pull one card out, the whole thing might tumble. So it was great to have this other validation in Vectra, and I really appreciated that kind of new view on my situation as a, as a, rheuma, a rheumatoid arthritis patient.